Because the reality is it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy to find yourself doubting that what we're doing here is like worth it and meaningful. It's easy to face hard things and be like, I just want to throw in the towel and quit and give up. Like, it's been 2,000 years already. Like, how do we know that this isn't just something that, some far-fetched idea that we caught on the religious train of it, and it's never going to happen, right? It's easy to believe those things, because life is difficult. Life punches you in the gut, and it's like, where in the world do I find myself right now? And what Paul is saying is that when things get hard and difficult, what we need is one another in order to keep us on track and keep us going. Because we have a mission. We have purpose. We are called to be distinct and be ready and share the love and light of Jesus Christ. And sometimes that's hard because it feels like the darkness is overtaking the light. But we are called to be the light. And sometimes it's like, I just don't feel like I have it today. And what we need is a room full of people like this who say, I've got it for you today. I can give you some of my courage today. You might be depleted, but I'm full and actually overflowing. So here, here's some of mine. See, what Paul is talking about through the latter part of 1 Thessalonians is that you can't go at it alone. That you're not intended to be alone in this. You can't carry on alone because life is difficult and challenging and hard. So he's given us one another to help us stay the course while we wait with hope that one day he will return to make all things new. 